This is uh, a video that is all about the Love Sack Sectional Guest Bedding Kit. Okay. And what, before I made this person, so I just recently bought a sectional couch, um, set it up a few days ago. I've been using it so far, love it. Um, but I'm not here to discuss the couch itself. You can find all sorts of videos and reviews online about the couch, how people like it, its longevity, its durability, how to set it up, all that. There's so much information. There is not information about the guest bedding kit. Okay, so this is a kit that uh, Love Sack has designed to go with the sectional couch when it's arranged a certain way. And you have to arrange it um, in a very specific layout where the cushions are um, basically set up the deep way, um, all four uh, parallel to each other. Um, okay, and then the idea is that this bedding kit goes on the bed for a guest to stay. And that's one of the great features of the sectional couch is that is the versatility and being able to turn it into a bed or whatever you can imagine for your furniture arrangement in your home. Okay, so this is a bedding kit to help make it into a bed and make it even comfier than it is as a couch by itself. Um, so if you look online, you can find all sorts of reviews for it. Like, and, and by reviews, I, I use that term loosely. They're, they're not very helpful. They're mostly just people saying that it's comfy or it's not comfy um, or if they feel like it was worth the amount of money that it costs. So I was like, well, I want to see what this guest bedding kit does, how it's set up, so I can make a more informed decision. I couldn't find that anywhere, so I bit the bullet, and when I bought, I bought the sectional couch, and I threw in the guest bedding kit, because I know that someday we're going to need to use this couch for bedding. But here is what is inside the guest bedding kit. So it comes in this large duffel bag, sized to fit inside a storage seat in your sectional, which I have, I sprung for storage seats for all of my seats in my sectional. And there's a metal bar that comes with the bedding kit, which uh, compresses it. It's, it's called a compression bar. And when you, um, it's really easy to put in. Um, you just kind of shove and like jimmy the, the ends of the bar um, under each side of the storage seat and it compresses the, the bedding kit down so you can put the lid and the cushion and stuff back on top and everything is nice and uh, settled. And when you open up the bag, there are a few more items in it. There is first a uh, pillow topper, and I'll discuss that more in a minute. Um, next is a fitted sheet, and then a, a regular, uh, I guess you call it like a flat sheet, whatever the, the top sheet is, and two pillowcases. Does not come with any blankets or anything else. That is all that is in the bedding kit. If I was looking to reduce the cost of this bedding kit by a few dollars, I would take out the pillowcases um, because pillowcases are meant for standard pillows. They're not built for any love sack specific pillows. I don't think we need uh, special love sack pillowcases for the bedding kit. Um, however, the sheets are meant to fit uh, th this setup specifically. I went ahead and I set up the bedding kit. So it took me 13 minutes from start to finish to set up the, uh, the sectional bed. And in, that includes putting the bedding on and everything. Okay, so I, I had to adjust the feet. I had to adjust a few clamps. Um, I had to, you know, remove cushions before I did all that, put everything back. Um, and then came the bedding kit. So um, first thing that goes on is the pillow topper. Um, the pillow topper, again, all of this stuff is sized to fit this specific arrangement to make for the bed arra like arrangement on the sectional couch. Our mattress that we have, or that we actually sleep on, on our real bed, is a pillow topped mattress. So it has the pillow top built in. Um, I didn't know what to expect with a, a separate pillow topper. I've never owned one for a bed in my life. I expected it to be kind of like a mattress pad that has an elastic edge that helps it fit over the mattress and cling to it. That is not the case here. The pillow topper is literally just a pad sized to a little bit slightly bigger than the um the bed itself okay so i threw that on there i got the fitted sheet and put that on and it uh the side I, if, if as you watch me you can see that i left one arm of the couch and um that made it a little bit tricky to get the fitted sheet on it wasn't impossible but it did it was just slightly 
um, trickier than setting up an actual bed. But I put the, the fitted sheet on, then came the top sheet. Um, if you want to tuck in your top sheet, uh, you're going to have to uh, un like you're gonna have to undo the Velcro at the base of the bed that's keeping those cushions on. Um, there, there is more Velcro on the other side of that seat, on the top part of the seat, um, cl that closer to where like your hips would be when you're lying on the bed. So it's not totally removing uh, that that cling, um, but you do sacrifice a little. If you want to tuck in the sheet, just be aware that you are gonna have to undo Velcro to get that tuck in. I threw a blanket on there. The, again, the blanket does not come with the kit. This is a blanket I got, a queen size blanket I got on Amazon a year ago. That's super comfy. Uh, does not come with the guest bedding kit. So just be aware. I added that for the test run. And I didn't bother putting the pillowcases on because you don't need a demonstration for how to put, put pillowcases on pillows. Um, so I left that part out. But be aware that there are two pillowcases that would go in this arrangement as well. And then I got in and I tried it out. And I got to say, it's pretty comfortable, but I will say uh, that did hide the seams better. I was very conscious of the seams because that's what I was trying to focus on. Like as I got it, as I was lying on the bed, can I feel the seams under me? Uh, I think the, the pad, I think that pillow topper does a good job of, of kind of leveling things out and making it more comfortable. Um, now, this is technically slightly smaller than a queen a queen mattress. So I think in theory, you could just buy your own queen bedding uh, sheets and pillow topper and use it on this. It's going to be a little bit looser because, again, a regular mat uh, queen mattress is bigger. When this does eventually die, I probably am going to try a standard queen size um, bedding uh, set of sheets and a pillow topper and stuff just to to see if I save any money and to see if it really works. Um, but I I don't know. There's a part of me that expects that um, this love sack, the specific bedding kit, bedding kit for the sectional um, is going to last me a long time and it's worth its money. The one note I have about the size, um, because it is slightly smaller than a queen sized bed, I'm six feet tall, okay? If you have someone taller than that, their feet are definitely going to be hanging over the end of the bed. So if I had someone coming over to sleep in there, if it was just one guy who was like up to six and a half feet tall, if it's just one guy, you can just sleep diagonally on the mattress and you'll get that extra length for them. Um, but if I had two people sleeping on this bed... And at the same time, and at least one of them was taller than six feet, I would throw two more of my seats at the end of the bed um, and untuck the sheet so that their feet have somewhere to rest. Putting it away, like I mentioned earlier, took just as long as to set up. Um, I was nervous about the fitted sheet. I think it takes witchcraft to fold a fitted sheet, um, but I kind of figured out uh, a decent way to do it and got everything fitted back into the bag without a problem. Uh, so um, I hope that was helpful. Good luck. Happy buying. I don't care if you like, subscribe, or comment. I just wanted to put this out there because I wish this video had existed before I made the purchase. Luckily, I'm happy with the choice that I made. And I hope you are too.